How does the transistor amplify the signal? The current flowing in is multiplied by V. V is equal to the electrode current, which is equal to the emitter current. So when the current signal enters, it can control the current of this route. If the load is connected to the electrode, according to the GO theorem, the voltage is equal to the resistance multiplied by the current. The resistor structure remains unchanged. The current increases, so the voltage of the resistor will increase. And the voltage, at this point, is equal to the power supply voltage minus the resistor voltage. The power supply voltage remains unchanged, so the voltage at this point decreases. In summary, as the current signal increases, the voltage output from the electrode to the load will double. Similarly, the smaller the current signal, the output voltage will double. This is the co-setting amplifier circuit, which can reversely amplify the voltage. If the output load is connected to the emitter, the transistor will conduct when the positive current flows to the emitter. The positive voltage must be greater than 0.7 volts at this point. So the voltage output to the load is smaller than the input. But the larger the positive current signal, the upper and left sides will flow to the emitter together. So the current flowing out of this point will be larger. To summarize, the signal enters the positive electrode and outputs. The input and output share the emitter. So it is called a common pole amplifier circuit. The characteristic is that it amplifies voltage in the opposite direction. If the output is changed to the emitter, they share the positive electrode. So it is called a common pole amplifier circuit. The characteristic is that it amplifies current in the same direction. What if the signal is changed to be input from the emitter and output from the electrode? What effect will it have if they share the same electrode? First, use a negative power supply to connect the electrode to the emitter, which will generate a current IB flowing into the electrode. And then use a positive power supply to provide a current IC flowing downward from the electrode. These two are summed up to form the emitter current IE. Then the signal enters from the bottom. Assuming that the positive wave splits at this bifurcation point, you can add a resistor I here, and by setting the resistance value through the combined force, you can make most of the signal current go to the top and not to the left. Now the upward current signal is superimposed on the current IE, so IE will decrease, and IE current is equal to IB plus IC, so both sides will decrease, where IC current is V times of IB, assuming V is 100 times. So of the total amount of current signal superposition reduction, 99% is in the reduction of ICE. IP only accounts for a very small part, which can be ignored. The next step is to add resistor X here. The voltage drop across this resistor is equal to the resistance multiplied by the current. Now the current IC decreases. The resistance value remains unchanged, so the voltage drop across the resistor decreases and the voltage at this output point is equal to the power supply voltage minus the resistor voltage. The power supply voltage remains unchanged. The resistor voltage decreases, so the output voltage increases. In summary, as the bottom input current signal becomes larger, it acts on Ike. The current superposition decreases. The final output is a voltage signal amplified in the same direction. The input is at the emitter level. The output is at the collector level the shared machine level. So this is a shared machine amplifier circuit. It can amplify voltage in the same direction. The three machine tube and three amplifier circuits above are set up to amplify voltage in the opposite direction. The shared machine is to amplify current in the same direction.